Bladder Cancer Program is a joint venture between the Brady Urological Institute, um, uh, Sydney Kimmel Cancer Institute, and uh, Greenberg Bladder Cancer Institute. Uh, we have a multidisciplinary team of individuals that is involved, um, including urologists, medical oncologists, and ancillary staff. The presentation of bladder cancer is very similar, uh, but uh, for some reason, women tend to be um, treated and evaluated later. Uh, the presentation is usually hematuria, uh, which is visible blood in the urine or gross hematuria, or microscopic hematuria, uh, which is defined as more than three red blood cells per high power field. The problem with uh, detection in women, you know, as men get referred to urologists fairly promptly, women tend to be evaluated and treated for UTIs, um, undergoing multiple courses of antibiotics, sometimes get referred to GYNs, so that really delays uh, the care and the uh, presentation. Referral to urologist is warranted when there is gross hematuria or more than three red blood cells per high fire field on the microscopic um, urinalysis, also when there are unexplained urinary symptoms. I think women are a very resilient uh, group of patients and they generally do well after radical cystectomy. Um, you know, radical cystectomy is one of the uh, highly morbid surgeries in the urology. Uh, up to 60% uh, rehospitalization or uh, perioperative morbidity risk. Uh, a lot of the times this can translate into urinary tract infections and wound infection and slow recovery of bowel. Um, however, um, when this is performed at the, at the higher volume center, uh, these numbers are usually better. Here we have established the uh, ERS protocols, um, optimized nutritional support, prehabilitation before surgery, rehabilitation after the surgery, established uh, postoperative pathways that make the um, recovery uh, much smoother for the patients. Quality of life and survivorship issues in women have been very understudied. Um, looking all across, uh, we really don't have a very good understanding of how women do after bladder preservation and after uh, treatment of non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. We do know that a lot of people are um, affected with mood disorders, depression, um, and anxiety uh, when given the diagnosis, during the treatment, and after, um, after the treatment. And sometimes there is a huge anxiety before every surveillance visit and cystoscopy. Bladder cancer can have variable presentation. Um, patients present with uh, non-muscle invasive versus muscle invasive cancer, low or high grade. Sometimes, unfortunately, we see metastatic presentation from the beginning. Uh, the patients with a non-muscle invasive cancer are treated differently, uh, usually with the resection and uh, intravesical installations of chemotherapy, immunotherapy, some other novel therapies, and there are also candidates for clinical trials if they fail the routine treatments. For muscle invasive cancer, we have the options of trimodality bladder preservation, which includes uh, you know, radical resection, uh, chemotherapy, and uh, radiation to the bladder, or radical cystectomy with removal of the bladder and a reconstruction of uh, another urinary diversion uh, to take the place of the bladder. Here at Johns Hopkins, we offer a variety of clinical trials for um, all the different stages of bladder cancer, including um, non-muscle invasive presentation to metastatic. Uh, we also have some bladder preservation trials, and we also are trying to elucidate more the survivorship and psychosocial issues affecting uh, patients after um, their treatment for bladder cancer, and we do have targeted trials for that as well.